All right, quick video. Uh, so I came across a post today that again, just sort of reaffirmed this already existing belief that there are some ways of going about this topic that are going to be far more effective, more constructive than others if your actual goal is to prevent more people from just thoughtlessly bringing more people into existence uh, for no discernible purpose. You're just throwing additional human beings into this confusing, terrifying predicament that we have found ourselves in. Uh, I mean, if this is your actual goal, it should be clear that there are going to be some ways of going about doing it that are going to be far more effective than others. Uh, so the post itself read something like, it isn't talked about enough just how horrific of a thing it is to co-parent with someone that you're still healing from. And underneath the post, just countless comments expressing their, uh, you know, the way in which they were able to relate to the post and how, yep, that's me, I'm there, I'm, I'm, I've created someone with someone that I now hate a great deal, and they're a piece of shit, and I wish I didn't fucking do that. I fucked up. Um, and just so many, there were so many. And so not only is this one area in which people are very quick to just all out express their regret, in terms, you know, not with having a child in particular, but more so with having a child with someone that they now hate, that they're no longer with, but... It's also just going to be a far more effective way of, of getting people to think more deeply about having children, just in general. And, of course, it's still going to be largely futile. You know, it's hindsight will always be 2020. So, but just trying to convey the way in which our brains fuck us over so badly and in convincing us and deceiving us into believing that very early on in relationships, how a person is just this perfect fucking, like this idealized being, when in reality they're just as fucked up as we are, if not more so, and just trying to convey that, just how your brain is going to fuck, there are going to be many times in your life where your brain is going to try, and your, 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 your monkey brain, your, your more primate brain is going to try and fuck you over, and you got to try your hardest to not allow it to do so. And that's going to be one of the, because man, people just don't really think about the, the suffering that their future children will have to endure. And a lot of it is just, they don't really care. That's just many people just don't care about the suffering of, of their future children. Um, but it's also just very difficult to conceptualize for many people. The fact that they're, they're, future children will grow up to be adult human beings that'll have to endure all kinds of shit that is beyond their comprehension. And just people are lacking in that area. And many people are lacking, like they don't even, many people aren't able to really think all that deeply about their own future suffering that will have to be experienced as a result of, of certain actions. But people are far more likely to take this shit into account rather than their child's suffering. That's far less of a concern for multiple reasons, but yeah. So if you're gonna if you're gonna alter anyone's behavior as a consequence of of, of words, you know, like attempting to advocate, um, that's gonna be the way to do it. Just trying to convey just how serious of an act this is, and how there are no do overs. I mean, that is a permanent fucking thing. Having a child with someone. This is something that is not to be taken lightly. And it is so often taken quite lightly, especially relative to how it should so obviously be treated. It's a serious goddamn thing. And many people will say, yeah, it is, but not act as though it is. So I guess that's it. That's just, yeah, if you're going to get through to anyone, that's going to be the way you do it. It's not going to be attempting to advocate, you know, the ethical implications of reproduction. And it's just... People don't really give a shit about that. And also, if you do it from a place of, like, grandiose, like, self, you know, like, I'm, a, I'm such a good person for not forcing people into existence, that's not going to be effective. You know, it's just not. And you really you want to focus on what is going to be more likely to work. That's, you know, that's, that's where I am. You know, just 
What makes the most sense? What's going to actually maybe get through to someone possibly? Probably not, but maybe. And that's going to, that's it. Trying to convey to the people who really fucking need to hear it, these things, these often overlooked aspects of creating people that are very commonly overlooked. And, you know, with that previous video of mine, it's just talking about how, like, your, your marketplace value, your dating marketplace value is going to fucking, it's going to fucking crash. It's going to crash. You're going, you're going to go into a recession. It's going to be horrible. And it's going to last for quite some time. It's indefinite. And... Yeah, this will alter your life in a far more profound way than you can even come close to conceptualizing. Who you have a child with will determine the outcomes of your lives. Until you die. That's some serious shit. We're at six minutes. I'm trying to be quick, you know, because last video went on for way too fucking long. So I'm sorry if I come across as a little bit manic. But that's it, right? I guess... Um, yeah, if you're going to convince anyone, you probably won't, but if you are to alter anyone's behavior in a positive way as a result of discussing these, you know, this sort of topic, that's going to be the way to do it. Attempting to convince people, to remind people that these traps are not, I mean, <laughs> these are not things to take lightly. If you're going to fuck with this shit, if you're going to have a child with someone, the potential for consequences are far more severe than you can even come close, again, to conceptualizing. It is beyond what you can grasp. And it's easy to say things like that, and it's also easy to just brush them off when you're young, <laughs> but God damn it, it's the truth in it cannot be stressed enough. That's the way in which many people shoot themselves in the fucking foot and, and just spend years of their lives slowly bleeding out, having a child with someone that they really should not have had a child with. And don't let your brain fuck you over. It's, there are going to be many times in your life, don't let it. It's going to be far worse than you can, than you can even come close to giving it a sufficient appreciation for. So, those consequences. So don't fuck around and you won't find out. And that's it. All right. That's it, right? I mean, that's what it comes down to. You know? If you're going to alter the behavior of any idiot out there, you got you to gotta focus on these more tangible sort of consequences that they will quite likely have to endure uh, rather than like, hey, listen, your child's going to have quite a bad time if you, they don't care. I don't care. All right, that's it. <laughs>